Good morning, folks. Geomagnetic storms are continuing this morning. We've got weather records, forecasting La Nina, and a major update from the Carbon Mission. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding a very calm star. No sunspots and no solar flares. Eyes come to the eastern limb on the left, where a coronal hole is visible incoming on the south, and more plasma filaments are turning in with it. Thus far, we're seeing most break down before they get to center longitudes, but that won't last forever. The southern coronal hole is up next because the northern opening is departing our view today. We are still inside its fast solar wind stream of particles, which has allowed telemetry to remain intensified well above average going into a third day, and indeed the third day of storm conditions as well, likely the last until the next stream. Folks, Hurricane Ophelia is out in the middle of nowhere right now, but may make it up to Europe in a few days. The story today, however, is that it has matched a weather record from 1893. Ten straight storms in the Atlantic Basin have become hurricanes, with each of them hitting that mark on the heels of space weather, like Ophelia did at the onset of the current geomagnetic storm. To learn more on the topic of solar storms and earth storms, go to earthchanges.org, watch the last video in the left column. Up next, observers know we forecasted return of La Nina last winter back when we saw the peak of El Nino, but now we are inching closer and all official forecasts have La Nina watch in their scopes as well, albeit a weak one coming in their models. And lastly folks, the Global Carbon Mission has proven that the cause of the record carbon spike in the atmosphere the last two years was El Nino. They say the extra drought and heat triggers the release of massive CO2 stores, and obviously this is a much faster process than ice melt. So, just so you can stay on top of the official mainstream story in addition to whatever you might believe, according to the mainstream, CO2 causes the planet to get warmer. A warmer planet increases the CO2 release, which drives further warming. This has happened cyclically over and over on our planet and somehow always results in an ice age. Except for now, it won't happen this time, they say. We're just going to keep getting warmer. The ramping up will go on and on. Again, that is the official mainstream science, just so you can know where things stand. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org, I strongly recommend last night's episode of Deeper Look when you have 10 to 15 minutes to give a watch and a click or two. Whether you are wanting a gift for the little one in your life or you want to have a trip, you will never forget at our Observing the Frontier conference in February. Go to otf.cells.com to lock it up. There's a reason over 70% of tickets have gone to repeat attendees. We've got your wind maps, null school run, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.